Finally, as we wrap up this Thanksgiving weekend, something else to be thankful for. Some daring bipartisanship from two of Washington's toughest operatives. ABC's Jonathan Carl helped the top spokesman from the RNC and the DNC settle an election bet with a handsome payoff. All right, George, I'm here with Brad Woodhouse, spokesperson for the Democratic Party, and Sean Spicer, spokesperson for the Republican Party. Now, these two guys had a bet on election night. Whoever would win the election, the other would have their head shaved. Is that that's the right, idea? That's right. You've asked me to come in to, to, to shave his head, and you've agreed to have your head shaved as well. That's correct. Because you're also going to try to raise some money for charity. St. Baldrick's? St. Baldrick's Foundation, which raises money for research into childhood cancer. I have never done this before. Uh, there is a safety on this, so no lasting damage will actually be done. There you go. Uh, this is going to be good. If only Washington could cut spending like you cut hair. <laughs> I think mission accomplished, right? All right, so we've cut some Republican hair now. <laughs> a little Democratic hair, right? right. Are, are you sure? Show of bipartisan. Are you oh, sure you're ready for this? I, I actually finally love bipartisan. Sounds you're like right. a... <laughs> I'm good. That's we can comb it over. <laughs> this is just too good. In for a dime, in for a dollar, right? My kids are going to run. All right, you guys pulled it off. Coming together for a good cause and without any hair now. Brad Woodhouse, Sean Spicer. Great job. Thank you very much. And remember, you can donate. In the name of this cause, stbaldricks.org, raising money for kids with cancer. I will. All right? First time Thank you guys you. get any money out of me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Thank you, Jonathan. Looking good, and they are almost all the way to their $12,000 goal. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.